the new 14.0 in line with our support for VFX reference platform 2022. We have updated the whole new family to use the latest release, OpenColor IO v2.1. Color management is a vital part of any VFX and animation workflow, and having a consistent color image across multiple platforms, applications, and devices is essential. As well as adding the latest libraries, we have also updated to the brand new ASUS 1.3 OCIO config. In fact, we have added two new configs, a lightweight version called CG for use in animation without the many camera input transforms that make up the bulk of the OCIO V1 ASUS configs and a full studio version geared towards VFX and live action shows that require a wide variety of camera color spaces, displays and looks. In addition to ASUS 1.3, the configs also introduced two exciting new features. Included in the config, a new named transform and to use these, we have created a new node in Nuke and a soft effect in Studio called OCIO Name Transform. As this is a new node with some possibility that it may change in the future, it is released as a beta feature in Nuke 14.0. The name transforms have been added to the config as sometimes it is helpful to include one or more transforms in a config that are essentially standalone transforms that do not have a fixed relationship to a reference space or a process space. This feature may be used to emulate older methods of color management that ignored the RGB primaries and simply applied one-dimensional transformations. The second new feature included in the configs is the ASUS reference gamut compression. This is an important addition to the ASUS workflow as it fixes a common complaint from users of ASUS which have been the artifacts resulting from out-of-gamut values in source images. When using either of the new ASUS 1.3 configs, these artifacts can now be fixed by using an OCIO look transform node. Simply add the node and the ASUS reference gamut compression will be automatically loaded and applied, as it is the first and only look defined in the OCIO config. With this update to OCIO 2.1, we have laid the groundwork for further exciting colour management features in the Nuke 14 series and we are looking forward to seeing how you implement these features into your colour pipelines.